So I had this really cute moment with one of the kids this weekend while I was coaching. And I really want to share it because uh, all the effort that I put into my work in teaching kids for almost the last 10 years is centered around one goal, and that's to develop and build strong individuals. Not just the physical aspect. Of course, they're doing jiu-jitsu, so they build strong bodies, learn cool moves, learn self-defense and all that. But that's very surface level. The, the, the true goal, the thing that I'm really trying to give them is the ability to overcome and be excited about challenging things. And to have this especially when things get tough. So what happened with this kid is an example of me getting that result out of this eight-year-old kid. And to give you a quick background on him, uh, when he first started, he was one of the worst students, couldn't do any of the uh, exercises, very low motor skills, uh, and that was for years. Very timid, very shy, not vocal at all. And after about a few years of being in a program, and of course, great parenting from mom and dad, he becomes the best student at my school. And have in mind, we have about 90 kids, and he's the very best by a big margin. So Sam's parents sign, up, sign him up for three tournaments in one weekend. He goes to the first one on Saturday morning, kicks butt, and takes the gold. Goes to sleep, wakes up Sunday morning, gets ready for tournament number two. He takes the silver, so he loses in the finals. He goes to lunch and gets ready for the third tournament that's in the afternoon and at the LA Fitness Expo for the kids' dream tournament. We're, wait we're waiting to finish off the weekend strong. You know, we think he's gonna take the gold. We're prepping him for that. And uh, he goes out there and his very first match has a really tough one. The other, the other kid's super tough, super good. Um, he's doing everything he's supposed to. He's listening to the coaches. He, he's improvising. He, he's putting, he's giving all effort. It goes into overtime and he loses. It, it, it's tough to lose, but it's even tougher when you're doing everything right and, and you're really, really, really trying your heart out. And so he's ready to cry, you know? But when I look over at him, he's also doing all the things we talk about doing when you lose, which is, trying to recompose yourself, take deep breaths, and he goes and congratulates the other kid. Uh, then he runs back over to me, and have in mind, I'm ready to talk about how well he did, and then some of the things that went wrong, and pretty much how to beat that kid the next time around, and how to get ready for his next matches. But in the middle of all this, as I start telling him this, he, he jumps in and he's like, but, but coach, with tears in his eyes, and he's like, but coach, coach, I, I, I get to fight again, right? I, I get to fight my way back to third place. So, right after losing, while he's sad, tired, and, and it's painful physically too, the only thing this kid is thinking about is, Coach, do, do I get another chance at bat? Do, do I just get another opportunity? Hungry. When you see that as a coach, you're just like, damn, that kid's a freaking badass. That, that kid's doing everything I want out of all my students, kids or adults. Little did he know that the next match would be even harder. Next match was even harder. And then the third match was even harder after that. But he goes on and wins the next two. So he takes third place. He finishes super strong. Ends up being an amazing tournament. Gives us insight into pushing himself and, and, and him learning he can go beyond what, you know, a new limit for him. And you, if you witness this, you may look at that and be like, damn, that kid is amazing. That's just who he is. And that's just not true. It's not just this awesome fighter with crazy fortitude and you know resilience and, and positive mindset, hungry for opportunity, not hungry for a medal, like not hungry because he feels he, someone has to give him a medal. He's hungry to go get another chance at that medal. That's actually a result of years of being put in activity where he's pushed correctly with high standards, but a lot of patience, a lot of love, combined with great parenting on the side where mom and dad, you know, they take 30 minutes, I think almost every day, where they just review some of the things he's learning at jujitsu. This is outside of schoolwork, combined with great effort from the kid himself too. And that's how you achieve and get these results out of a kid. So, you know, sometimes I just don't understand people are like, oh, I want my kid to be this, disciplined, this, this, that. But you don't put him in activity that allows him to develop that. And, you know, for us, it's jujitsu. So, boom, that's my story. <laughs>